Hey guys out there, it's TJ Graney from KOZ World Ranch Headquarters. I am in the bunkhouse. It is raining outside this morning and um, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna be one of those guys that does a video and sends it out. Uh, I wanted to do this for you guys because man, for KOZ, this is an unprecedented time for us because so many of you guys are not gonna be able to do your event, your KOZ Saturday, um, which is fishing, are one of our favorite ones. Now, some of you guys might be able to. I know that um, not every county is shut down, not every church is having to uh, shut all their outdoor activities or all their extracurricular activities down. Man, I, I pray that you're one of those churches, but many of us, Many of the guys, at least around here, have been shut down. And But man, you guys are doing some super creative stuff. It's turkey season here. I think we're two weeks into turkey season. And man, I'm not, haven't even, until this week, I, I started thinking about it and uh, really wanting to go spend some time in the brush trying to call in a turkey. Mrs. Graney wanted to kill a turkey she's not a big hunter but she wanted to kill a turkey so um man I, I hope i get a chance to go do that with her but um i'm not sure that's going to happen it's a it's a strange time for us but um but you guys are so selfless some of the stuff that you're the emails that you're sending us and uh, the communication the things i'm seeing on facebook the phone calls we're getting where you guys are just coming up with some really creative stuff to do with your boys. And so I want to touch on that a little bit. Um, but I just want you to know too that um, this is, we are living in a world at war. So Satan is all happy about trying to get our boys sequestered, stuck in a house where their anxiety and all their ADD or any of that stuff you know, if there if that stuff's going to come out, it's going to come out right now, and not to mention the stuff that he pours through the internet. And you know about the struggles that happen with the internet and what comes through there, and the boys are susceptible to it. And now is like Satan is just like smiling ear to ear because he's able to just pour that stuff in there. There may be boys stuck at home for. For hours on maybe not even going out at all and no input at all and he's just pouring that stuff in pouring that stuff in and uh, trying to take them out but that's where you step in you get to step in and be a light a reminder that that's not um, that's not the only choice they have that that the world is not the uh, the prize after all said and done, being in the world, being a part of the world, being, uh, all, the world is not the prize. Um, this, I was looking at the curriculum this month and oh my gosh, it, it's so good. The, um, the scripture this month was 1 Corinthians ten thirteen. no temptation has taken you that is not common to man. God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability, but with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. Man, I just needed that for me. And imagine sharing that with your boys. I'm so, my heart's broken that we're not sitting around a campfire with a bunch of boys and just sharing our life experiences and, and uh, how God uses that scripture in our lives. And uh, in the, this year we're teaching on the fruit of the Spirit and this month was faithfulness. And uh, we were going to go into the whole thing. What does faithfulness mean to you? What is faithfulness? Uh, what is reliability and trustworthy? And uh, it's just a super powerful month and I just uh, I'm broken behind it but so 
Uh, Rick sent out a great email this week and just really talked about some of the options that we have to to do with our boys, some of the things that we can do. And uh, man, there is no more important time right now than for us to step into conversations with our boys. It would be a great um, a great opportunity for you to make phone calls. Uh, what about writing a letter and your boys receive a letter and maybe take uh, take some not tying material off offline um, go to the KOZ Pinterest page if you know how to do that maybe your wife can send you there but Mrs. Grady's been filling up the Pinterest page full of stuff ideas um, but maybe you know print out a page that shows how to tie knots and um, how to you know, whatever, some kind of activities, do a video for them. I know that um, one of the groups, uh, David Porter from a church here in, in uh, Austin, Texas, they're going to video their fishing, the fishing uh, curriculum. I don't think they're going fishing, uh, but I think they're going to do something inside and uh, just something for the boys to watch that where they're really getting to speak to the boys. And last month, uh, one of uh, one of the groups, one of the leaders, did a full hour-long KOZ from inside, just going the bo- showing the boys some uh, stuff. It just you guys are so creative, but this is a chance for us to talk to them and uh, and for you to communicate with them. And a letter with some material in it, a phone call, all those things are so important to them. And, uh, and I'm thinking that if you could get, if you could get a boy, I'm saying this without thinking it through all the way, if you could get a boy to write a letter to KOZ, what KOZ means to them, and mail it to me, I would send them a black KOZ hat. So... They have, you can send them the address here uh, at the main office at the World Headquarters, 9508 Chisholm Trail, Austin, Texas, 78748. Uh, have them write a letter and what KOZ means to them. Just write me a letter, one letter per envelope. Have them address the envelope. Have them put a stamp on it and mail it with help from their parents. But if, if I get a letter from a boy, I will turn around and mail him one of the black hats. <laughs> They're going to kill me for that, but uh, how about that? Give up, that'll give them something else they can do. Maybe you could add something else to it. Um, I'm not sure. Let me know if you want to do it some other way. But if they, if they write a letter and send it to me, I will, uh, and I, I will send them a black Kelsey hat. So... It, you know, I don't know, maybe what you do is uh, send them some hooks. Just communicate with your boys, brothers. This is a really hard time. I know it's hard for you. There's some of you guys out there that are struggling because of work. Um, you're struggling because your kids have been home for three weeks. Your wives are going nuts. You're going nuts. And there's no, at this point, it, when we're making this video, there may be light at the end of the tunnel in a couple of weeks. Not sure what that looks like. I'm not sure what it looks like for you, um, but there, this will end, and I've just kind of really cut off all the non-essential input in, uh, news rate, news television, all that kind of stuff. It just, that has done nothing good for me. Um, what, it ha- what has happened is my family all comes over to the house on Sunday, and we do church together. Eve, it's good. Um, we're in the garage working on some projects, uh, in the barn working on some projects. Um, we're doing stuff together that we haven't been doing, and it's a priority, and, and it's given everybody a chance to not have to be where they were and to come home. And so there's some, some blessings to it, and I know there's some hardships, brothers, but remember that scripture, no temptation or no event, no hardship will overtake you that is not common to man. God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted. 
He will not put you, he, you will not have more than you can handle. He will watch out for you, but you got to go to him. You got to be with him. You got to talk to him. You can't just go, ah, I'm done with this. You got to, you got to dig in. And, um, so be the, and the last thing I want to say is I was, um, I was just really moved recently um, that I haven't been leading my family as w- with the example of what I think I would what I would love to see them doing. So um, my prayer to you, brothers, is that in this time we get to be a, an example. We get to reset maybe with our families, reset with those that maybe we've come on, you know, disconnected from, or maybe haven't been the best example or really done well with. I'll tell you a quick story, then I'll let you go. Um, <clears throat> so Rudy and I, Rudy's the uh, official ranch dog. He belongs to my youngest son, but he's a, a, a border collie and he stays here at the uh, world headquarters with us. And, uh, and him and I run, almost every morning through the park. We go through the woods and it's a little trail that we have. And uh, and it's a park, it's a city park that we run in. And um, there was a lady there that every time we came out of the woods and onto the paved trail, uh, almost every morning she'd be there. And she had this dog, he's kind of like this pit bullish kind of dog. And that dog would see Rudy and he'd just take off right at Rudy. The lady wouldn't have a leash on him or anything. And, and man, he just attacked Rudy and it was bad. It was bad. It didn't bring blood, but I mean, I, I was pretty pissed and man, I just, it just pounded and pounded and pounded and pounded. And man, I'd yell at her and got to the point where it just ruined my morning with Jesus running. And I'd see that dog and just my heart start pounding. I just ah, so angry. And then I'd go, you know, the dog would be mean to Rudy and we'd get past and, uh, and it just, my morning just, you know, all I could think of is how I was going to get back at her, what I was going to do. And, uh, and then one day, um, I was, we came out of the park and out of the woods and we we're going down the trail and God said, not the same thing. We're not going to do this the same way. And, and then up came that dog and I stopped, pulled Rudy in close. And when that dog came up, I just petted him and made a different had a different reaction with him and uh and i started doing that every time and i think it probably freaked that lady out because i was like ready to just kill that dog and she knew it and i mean she'd like see me and run off into the woods with it it was not good i was a terrible example but god changed my heart and now it's been weeks months and um uh, well, we just work through it, and now it's just I just say good morning and just keep on going. And I I have to think that that freaked her out a little bit. Like, what happened to this guy? Why is he all of a sudden not the guy that um, yelled at me and got angry at me? But God just so clearly spoke to me that that's not who I want to be. Uh, I was letting Satan use that to take away my joy and to ruin that time I wanted to spend with God and Jesus in that, just in that, in my mornings. And uh, so often he'll put those things in there and and, uh, this whole time that we're going through right now, there's stuff there. He's, don't think he's not just trying to take us out, take you out, you know, disrupt our, uh, stuff but man i see so much fruit from the families coming together even though we're not meeting in our church buildings on sunday there's so much good stuff happening out there and i would just encourage you to push into that please please get in there and get after your boys check on your boys write them that letter send them some material have them do something, give them a worksheet and have them send it back to you and, you know, tell them that if they do that, they get to go on a special pizza party. Whatever it is, brothers, just love on your boys. Let them know that they matter and uh, and you matter. 
to us. And if you need anything at all, just know Rick and I and Sandra and Nicole and Jan, we're all here and we just want to love on you. Make sure your wives go to the wives Facebook page and sign up on that. Um, there's, uh, there's so much good stuff there and Sandra wants to pray with them and be there for them. And there's probably no better time for them to have a prayer warrior on their side like Sandra. Uh, we got all the new stuff in the store. We got new, sh all the shirts are in. We stocked up on everything. So if you need any of that stuff, now's the time. Maybe you just kind of think, okay, I need dog tags and I need some shirts for my guys and whatever all that stuff is. Now's a good time to just order it and get it put in because we have it. And, uh, and it takes a lot to get all that embroidery and stuff done, but it's in, it's in, on the shelves, it's stocked. And uh, if you have uh, any other uh, groups or meetings or anything like that we can help you with, you need literature, you need anything at all, let us know. We're going to plan some outfitter meetings coming up. Uh, as soon as this stuff kind of blows over, we'll have some outfitter trainings. And so be watching for those uh, new websites coming up. That's a secret. Don't tell anybody, but in the next month or so, we're going to have a brand new website. You're going to love it. And uh, But that's it, brothers. God bless you. Uh, I'm going to just pray for us real quick. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this time with the guys. Thank you for your heart that these guys carry for the boys in their community. Lord, we pray for these boys out there that are just uh, drifting through this time, Lord, the fear that they have, the the stress going on in their lives from being cooped up, just the natural desire to get outside and to move their bodies, Lord. And we just pray for them right now, Lord. I pray for these uh, men who are looking to rescue those boys, that you just give them creative uh, ways to speak to their boys, Lord, and love on them. And Lord, we just pray all this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. All right, regulators, mount up.